Hey guys, Rachel CPR here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have another DIY project. And no, just to tell you, I have not stopped making hair videos. I am still making hair videos. I have my hair braided right now, but I'm just letting my hair grow out a little bit. And so I'm trying not to be too much into my hair because I love to cut my hair and that has been really strong for me lately just to want to cut my hair. And so I am just trying to distract myself. And a very good distraction has been DIYing. I have been obsessed with a channel here on YouTube. I just love this woman's channel. She is Sharon, she's so fabulous. And she does all kinds of home projects and she shares like tours of her home and DIY projects and all kinds of things. Get ready with me. She's just really, really, she has a great channel and a very positive mm -hmm. channel and I really enjoy watching her channel. So I have been bitten by the DIY bug because of her channel and I do I am very grateful that she shares what she does because it has been great for me in my redecorating time. Spring is coming and we have been like painting and redoing all kinds of things and so that it's been very very helpful for me and I am also obsessed with the show Fixer Upper. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely into the remodeling and and organizing of different things that I have. And the Dollar Tree has just been so much of a kindness to me because everything is so inexpensive in there and it's like the sky's the limit with what you can create with the things that are in there. So again, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you again for sharing this time with me and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye guys. These are the things that you'll be needing for this project. I'm going to use mine for flowers and so I have my glue gun, I have my flowers, extra glue sticks, my large and small glass beads right here, and I have my jar that is actually an old candle jar, but of course you can get one from the Dollar Tree if you don't have an old candle jar. And I also have this super glue fix-all adhesive as well as a little tiny bit of E6000, and I have um, these string lights. These are the butterfly string lights. And I am going to use both types of glue for this project because I am going to anchor my larger beads onto my glass container around the top. And then I am going to put the smaller beads to follow that just so that, and I'm going to use the hot glue gun to anchor the larger beads. And then I will use the super glue, the liquid glues, in order to secure it because I want this to be something that stays for a very long time. But sometimes with the um, the glue gun, it doesn't st necessarily stay as long. And so I am also going to mention that if you have greenery on the bottom of your flowers that you should leave the greenery on because the wires for the LED string lights that I have it's green so it will definitely blend a lot better if you have greenery from your stemware sorry not stemware the stems of your <laughs> the stems of your flowers just to mask it and I'm using a nice hydrangea type leaf faux leaf for my flowers because I want to be able to hide the on and off switch from my LED string lights inside of the flowers so let's get started and with these larger beads, you definitely have to just hold them there for a little bit. And I just want it to, I just want it to line up with the edge of my work surface. And then when I add the, the other liquid glue, I will make sure it gets in between these so that it is securing it again with the more permanent adhesive. So I'm gonna to continue to fill these larger beads on the entire outer rim and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my top row completely done with the hot glue gun. And I am now gonna go in with my smaller beads and I'm going to fill it in the entire bottom half. I'm going to start off by using the adhesive, the super glue adhesive. And the E6000, I'm gonna use the rest of my, oh, maybe I won't mix them actually. I will just use this right here. And this is gonna be my first time ever using this because I've never found this in my local Dollar Tree, but I was so happy when I found it because I've, I've heard so much about it. So I'm going to use this to apply the smaller beads on the entire bottom portion of my container. 
Okay, so this is my project so far. I'm definitely using the hot glue gun because the liquid glue, of course, does not dry fast enough and so they kept sliding everywhere. So I'm definitely going to use the hot glue gun for this project. And I would have liked to have used the liquid adhesive simply because it is a lot more transparent, but that was not working. So we're going with the hot glue instead. So I'll finish it up and I will come back when it's time for me to insert my flowers and lights. So this is my finished product and I really like the way it came out. You'll see these beads right here look a little bit different because they were put on with the clear glue, um, the liquid glue, and that's really what I wanted. I wanted the beads to be transparent, the glue to be transparent so that the beads you could see right in through. But these are the beads that were put on with the glue gun. I still like the effect that this gives. It gives it a, an effect of almost like it looks like mortar and I still like that because you can still see through and I'm sure you'll still be able to see the lights through this container. So as of right now, I'm just about done. I am just going to add my string lights. I've already added the batteries to my string light. I'm going to take the battery pack out, the on off switch, and I'm just going to randomly put the lights inside of here so that they are spread out but then at the same time I don't want them to be in a uniform way and I certainly don't want them to just let, end up on the bottom. So one of the leaves from my floral arrangement came off but I mentioned it in the beginning that I am using the leaves to camouflage the strings of the string lights and just to make it look a little bit more interesting and now I am adding my faux hydrangea and with the faux hydrangea, I am going to add it and then I'm going to use the leaves in, of the hydrangea to hide my on off switch. Now I do have to make this arrangement with my hands, with both hands. So I am going to go and make my arrangement and then I will come back and show you this finished product. Thank you so much for watching guys. See you again soon.